this? Well, there's a few reasons why. You can go back to Joshua 23 if you want. We're done in chapter 1. Why does it take strength? Why does it keep courage to keep all that's written in the law? Well, <coughs> oftentimes doing what is right, which is keeping the law. When you're doing what is right, what God said to do and what God don't, not doing what God said not to do, oftentimes will involve confrontation. There are enemies. There are battles to be fought. So when you are standing up for what's right and just doing what's right, proclaiming the word of the Lord, doing what God said to do, you need to have courage because there's going to be opposition. If there was no opposition, you really wouldn't need courage. You wouldn't need any guts to stand up and do something if nobody is opposing you. I mean, it'll just make sense. What do you typically see you know when people are trying to build up courage what are they trying to do well sometimes it's a guy trying to ask a girl out on a date right he's trying to get courage because he's afraid of being rejected or someone getting ready for a fight right whether it be a boxer or for sport or in battle in war right people need to build their courage up and try to to gain courage to go out and do something where someone's going to be resisting them someone's going to be opposing them when the Bible says to be courageous, to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law, it's going to be because there are people who are going to oppose the book of the law. And people are going to try to get you not to follow the book of the law. Whether it be your own flesh or other people literally just withstanding and, and trying to oppose the word of God. It's out there. That's why we need to be courageous in order to face these enemies, face the battles, have that confrontation and don't be afraid of it. I don't know. I mean, there may be some people out there, I find it hard to believe, that actually enjoy confrontation. I've heard people say that before. I've heard people say, oh yeah, I, but honestly, I think they're just trying to act tough when they say they really enjoy confrontation. I think they're just trying to say that because nobody enjoys confrontation. No one just likes to have a whole, like just, just fighting and battles all the time. I, I, at least, I mean, it's foreign to me. Okay, if it does exist, it's completely foreign to me because it's not something that's pleasant. What, what do you typically want to do? You want to relax. You want to have peace. You don't want to have to fight and struggle and have battles. But the reality is that those battles exist. They're real. It's important. You have to stand up. And if you don't stand up to the, to the wicked aggressors, then nobody will. And then it's going to be even worse for you.